welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Jaden, or i go by your princess and today i'm gonna be going through the new battle pass as well as the new agent that was just released um so basically let's go through the battle pass first and then we'll go through ko which makes a lot of sense ko anyways um uh, i bought everything i'm in one of the riot um test servers right now so they allowed me early access and i'm gonna go through the act and everything that we got so basically with the first we have once when you unlock it you get the sheriff immediately you get this really nice like k buddy or like you know the kingdom buddy uh, you get the radiant eye points, of course, the feel rush card, and then you get the jigsaw areas. Now, the jigsaw puzzle, I guess, is like one of the new gun lines that are going to be within this act itself. And this battle pass um, comes first, first with Sky. And then the first little card that we have is Sky, and it says Snowbirds card. And the thing is cracked for the title that we have in the first one. Second one is Pump Action Spray. Really cute. I actually really like how they have like a lot of memes for the sprays. The sprays are getting better and better, let's be real. You have the cracked spray. We had the cracked title like the previous one, okay? 39 points more. Naked op card. Now, this one is also in the epilogue, but this one is offered right here in the second one. Then we have the Monarch Shorty, which kind of looks like the Prime 2.0, but it's like more of like a kingdom-esque, more, you know, it's interesting. I like it. Now we have the Coin Buddy for episode three, of course. It's a very nice like greenish color, which is also the same color, I feel like, of the flashbang of KO that I'll show later. Now for the third set of the act, we have the save card, which is I guess they're having like a whole like cash flow kind of thing. We have the max money spray and we got more radiant night points, of course. The One Direction buddy. Now, we, there were other buddies that they have similar to this, like the keys, but this one is by far my favorite one. Also like One Direction, like the group, but it's also like whenever somebody tells me to play better or like how to play better from you know valorant like a radiant Knight player a radiant player or whatever they say just press w and this is pretty much it okay we have the judge coming up next with the jigsaw this it's gonna be oh this is like really really nice this one has kj on it you have radiant more radiant points and no breaks which i guess is just a raise now we have more of the monarch skins the monarch buddy bucky why did i say buddy bucky and then we have the force card the Soba says sorry spray. Oh, I should go back. This 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 one's actually it's actually pretty nice. It goes along with the money theme going on earlier. And then we have Soba says sorry spray. I like this one. It reminds me of like the hee hee or like the lol, you know, esque Twitch emote. More radiant night. Then we have the K-Tac Bulldog. This is I mean, these are really nice. They're going along with the whole kingdom theme. And we were talking about, I mean, I, I was showing earlier the other gun that in with this one the first one and it, it's so nice i really like it i can't wait to show you the ak now comes next is the greatly increased spray I and mean, this is just basically like when you rank up you have this so next is my favorite out of all the sprays the killjoy i choose you spray this one is so freaking cute it is it's so cute pokemon reference and killjoy like as if the the killjoy gun the little specter wasn't cute enough this is even cuter more radiant eye points rubber ducky bucky Rubber Ducky Buddy. Why did I say Bucky and then Buddy? But anyways, we have Brimstone as a Rubber Ducky. Now they have like a bunch of different kinds of like animals. So this is going to be that. Now we have the Hard Stuck Spray, which is of course related to <laughs> me and pretty much everyone else in right uh, in Valorant. That's like silver, bronze, whatever. Comes next. Tw tier 25 is the K-Tag Vandal. This one is so freaking clean. Now these don't actually have any special like shooting animation in game but it's really nice really gorgeous i personally love the colors of this and it just reminds me of just like this very pretty crystal now here's a drop off card that we have halfway through the act it is basically one of the scenes from you know they just they literally just released a trailer or just you know a very good montage clip of of kj and of course it had viper and um it's 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 so pretty it's so beautiful and i mean here's a little here's a little card from it we have reading night points more no pen spray now i don't actually know what this is about but if you guys do know what this is about please let me know in the comments down below already night and then of course surprise penguin now they have so much stuff with like pingu it is it's, it's so cute uh next tier 29 we have the ko id card and we have the monarch frenzy and then we have the icy crate buddy as the next one. You get two of these. This is like more than halfway through the act. Now we have the next one. Tier 31 is going to be the best for last schema card. And it has the guardian on it. 
I guess they're gonna do all the guns of this. Meridianite. This one is a really, really, really cute buddy. It's called the Cop Buddy, and it has little baby fish on it. No Guardian Spray, and I don't really know what this is about either, but I do like this one as well. And the next one is the Jigsaw Guardian with uh, this very nice... I mean, I really like these colors, and of course, you have Astra on it. The next one, Meridianite points, and of course, Salty. <laughs> Describing so many players in freaking Valorant. And then we have the sand sculpture spray. And I feel like this like whole part of the act is like the very island-esque themed. Um, I, I'm assuming this has to do with the new map that just came out. Now we have Island Dreams Buddy, which is a very, very cute little coconut, little tropical drink with a little orange, little straw, little umbrella. And then we have the Rody Bodhi. This one reminds me of probably a flashback of just what it used to be like before Valorant turned to a fighting ground area for all the agents. I'm assuming this is just from Breeze and it was just one of the one of the many shops that were there. And I think this is really interesting and I hope they dig more into, you know, the maps. I mean, they could dig so so dig or they could dig so deep into these maps in the lore that it would just go on and on and on. Monarch Marshall. This one's pretty nice. I mean, I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of the Marshall. I mean, I mean, I'm not a fan of the Marshall, but <laughs> and the, but the, I'm talking about the Monarch skins. But this one's seen since I we had greatly decreased spray, which is funny because as you go deeper into the act, you have this one. I guess it's like it could be BM because you know you're like you're telling the enemies they're gonna like rank down or something. Anyways, Radiantite points. Now this is tier 42, which usually around this area of the act is where riot releases hints of the next map or what's going to be happening next for valorant now i think the next map i don't know i haven't been told but i'm assuming that testing grounds is definitely going to be like the next area that riot's going to be kind of planning their next map here we go with the next one clutcher kick spray this one's funny raise and like a little chibi form and this one's really cute too. The two heavy spray with sage on it. I like this one a lot. I'll probably be equipping this one. And then we have the KTAG operator. This one I tried it in game. It is so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. Okay, and then we have this one just really doesn't make sense. I don't really know much about the key to ancient mysteries, buddy. Maybe it will have something to do with the next act. Who knows? We also have Sands of Time spray. Now I don't really know what this whole thing about. Like from I mean, maybe we'll figure out later. I don't know. And then next we have is the Salmon Gatey Buddy. It's so cute. Probably my favorite gun buddy out of all of them. Of course, because I love sushi and like my stream called Sushi Gang. So very much something that I will look forward to achieving once I finish this next coming act. Uh, our battle pass. And then we have this from the Ashes Phoenix card. Radiant points. And this is what everybody is asking me about. Looking at the new knife. Now this one's not really a knife. It's kind of like a sword slash stick spiky stick next we have the jigsaw ghost which has of course yoru on it this is, has really really pretty colors that's my favorite part about all these like skin lines is just all the different colors that all of the are you know just that they offer and then the last of the act before the epilogue is the cosmic connections card this might have something to do with astra i'm not really sure but i think it looks beautiful the colors are amazing and i mean once i get this i'm equipping it <laughs> okay and then last we have the epilogue of the act we have the cracked golden egg gun or cracked spray my bad and of course all your little rainy night points and then you have the naked op card except the op is golden now the you, you saw this one back in the second part of battle pass but uh now it has a golden op and like a little golden border around it so it looks really nice but uh, that wraps it up for the rest of the battle pass and I'll be going through KO right now. So the next part of this video I want to do, I want to go through KO, what he does, and just a little more about him. Now KO, or I call him KO, he is an initiator and some info about him is he is a machine of war built for a single purpose, neutralizing radiance. His power is to suppress enemy abilities, cripples opponent's capacity to fight back, securing him and his allies the ultimate edge. Now, initiators, of course, challenge angles by setting up for their team and enter contested grounds and push defenders away. Now, basically what his abilities do is a C is frag slash men or fragment. And basically what it does is it throws an explosive fragment, fire to throw, and then the fragment sticks to the floor and explodes multiple times, doing lethal damage 
that does more damage in the center. I'll show you guys it in a second. Next one is flash drive. And this is basically a flash bang, pretty much. Throws it on the ground, bounces off the walls, and it has some cool lineups with this one, but it's basically a flash bang. You turn away and block it too, by the way. I don't know if you can destroy it. Zero slash point or zero point. Equipped a suppression blade. So basically he grabs the blade and he'll throw it. So he sticks to the first surface it hits, winds up and suppresses anyone in the radius of the explosion. Now basically it's a, it's a pretty big radius, but explodes depression now the ulti is really really cool null slash cmd now it, it basically it gives him a huge steroid basically he's attacks faster and it says that instantly overloaded but basically it'll say he's overloaded with polarized radionite energy that pulses from ko in a massive radius enemies hit where the pulses are suppressed for a short duration while overloaded ko also gains co combat stim and can be re Restabilized if downed. Now there's like three aspects to this. He can be picked up if he's downed. He gains a combat stim, and enemies hit with the pulses of the where he is at are suppressed for a short duration of time. This is basically really good for entry fragging and just you know, of course, you know, getting some initiation down. Now let's go actually into a custom game, and I'll show you guys a little more about this agent. Oh. This is so sick. I love the little song that it plays like beforehand. As for his abilities, his C looks like this. His Q looks like this. His E is this, the little blade, which is really nice, by the way. It kind of reminds me of Apex. A little bit. And then here, my old C is like a combat sim, so I'll be able to use it. Okay. Now, here we go. This is going to be the grenade. Now, if you go to the center of it, it actually does more damage. But if you go outwards, here, I'll show you. It does less damage than if you go into the center. Okay. Now, the next one, of course, is his, his Q or his flashbang. Now, I'll throw it and see it bounces. And it's a different color than other people's flashes. I'll throw it against this wall right here, and I'll show you how it, or it bounces off the wall. Wait. Okay, it should have, it should have. There you go. So it, it flashes and bounces off the wall. And I'll just turn and show you what it's like if you turn around. It's a very short flash. Now we have his E, or it's like a little dagger that he throws. And this basically suppresses targets. And he says it suppresses them after you use it the second time. You, I, this does not bounce. It's just a straight entry point. It's, it's pretty big though. It's, it's pretty big. Okay, now I'm gonna use my ulti, which I can't really go down and have someone pick me up, but this is what it looks like. As you can see, that whole area is a bigger version of his E. And of course, it says overload and I have a combat stim. Now it's down again. It didn't last for a very long time, but I'm assuming if it gets another kill, it'll up. Just like how Reyna, it'll go up. So I wanted to see something because I feel like in one of the cards, it might have been here. You now like Rudy's, I guess. I'm not sure where it is. But anyways, that is pretty much it. Again, we have this ability. Grenade. We have his flashbang. And then we have his throwing knife, or it's a concussion. Oh, well, it's not a concussion. It's a suppression. So they can't actually use their abilities, is what I'm assuming. And my ulti, of course. Which is a bigger version of my E, as well as the combat stim. Very simple, very simple agent. Very cool. I actually... He reminds me, kind of, I don't know why, but... He kind of walks like a robotic brimstone. I don't know. I mean, his abilities, of course, aren't the same, but he just reminds me of just like a robotic brimstone. Just the way that he walks. Of course, you can hear the metal clicking and stuff. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. If you did enjoy this video, let me know down in the comments below. And if you have any questions for me, go ahead and ask me. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next one.